today we're doing an unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. So this is like that big, super wide one that came out a couple months ago. And I'm also unboxing the keyboard cover that came with it because I really think you need that in order to use it, to like stand it up or really do anything with it. But it does already come with a Samsung pen, which is very different because Apple, you have to buy it on your own. So we're gonna kind of compare it to the Apple as well as we walk through it. And I will also talk about just first impressions and whether or not I think it's worth getting versus the iPad Pro, which I have pretty much only exclusively been using for years. So let's do that. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Tuesday. All right, they shipped out on the same day and they arrived on the same day, but they came out Look at that, it already like has the thing for me. Uh, but they arrived in two different packages and I don't really know why, I guess just for speed or something. Um, I see, so got a little sticker. We have a book cover keyboard. Uh, so I'm surprised, I thought the bigger one would be in here, but I guess that is not the case. Ooh, look, it looks like this is a restock. <laughs> from somebody else gross because that's what you want during like these times you want somebody else's germs so let's go ahead and pull this open so we have a piece of paper we have the cover and so this is weird because it's in two pieces which I guess is how they deliver stuff. And yeah, someone definitely had this before because it's dirty. Um, and it's dirty here too. <laughs> so, <laughs> barf. But I guess that's what happened. I never order from Best Buy, but I guess that's what they do with everything. Um, same thing here. Nope. I think this one is actually new. So, let's go ahead and open this up. Ah, uh, the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. So this is brand new, so that's nice. Um, this feels heavier than the iPad, which makes sense because it's larger. And it does, I'm excited. This is so much bigger. So can I open it? How do I open it? Oh, there it is. It's like an envelope. This feels like that, uh, like really thick, or no, it's really soft. I don't know what it is. It feels like something I clearly cannot describe. So, and then we get the pencil and I'm guessing this is nothing. So the pencil has nowhere to go on here, but I think the reason everyone gets this $350 cover is because the pencil goes in here. And I think I read somewhere the pencil can only go a certain way in order to get charged or stay inside there or something like that. But this should, in theory, yeah, it just snaps in. Okay, it needs to be put together somehow, which is how, I don't know. <laughs> Do I know, oh, look at that, the pen fell out. So clearly I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I think this goes on here. Oh yeah, there, it's like a magnet. Clearly it's, I'm not good with this. Oh my gosh, it is really on there. <laughs> Can't get it off. Oh, this is that kickback stand. I get it now. This top part, I'm so slow. The top part goes on so that the kickstand can come out. Wait, oh, nope, just, just kidding. It lit up right outside the box. So I'm excited to see what a planner looks like because I've always done the planners for the iPad dimensions. I've never done them for the Ultra, which clearly just was came out. So I don't know if everyone's gonna change how they do stuff or how that's gonna work. But definitely returning the keyboard because we don't want somebody else's germs. 
All right, let's talk about a couple different things. So price, they're pretty much the same price. You're gonna pay $10.99 for the base model for both of them. However, I guarantee you're going to want to get the Apple Pencil, because what's the point of having an iPad Pro without the Apple Pencil? And you're probably gonna want the Magic Keyboard. So those two things together are going to be $129 plus $299. Versus with the Samsung, you're going to want the book cover keyboard, and that is $350. So I gotta say, it's a wash between the two because you get the pen for free with with the Ultra, but you don't with the Apple. The second thing is storage. So Apple definitely wins. It goes all the way up to one terabyte. The Samsung does not go that high. However, to be fair, I have never ever in my entire existence, because I keep getting them with like extra storage because I think I'm going to need it because I do need it on the desktop because I do graphic design. However, the apps on the iPad and both the Samsung are still not advanced enough where I'm going to do a lot of gra real graphic design work. So I don't need all that extra storage. And even if I did, the Samsung actually comes with a slot. So you can stick a micro SD card in there. I have a half gigabyte micro, micro SD. And if you would purchase the half a terabyte one, then you would you'd be up to a terabyte, like just like the Apple anyway. And then you'd actually have the advantage of being able to pull that slot out, drop it into your computer, and it's way faster to transfer files. Now I will say that the Samsung is super slow in terms of like anything, like opening up apps, like transferring files, doing anything. So having that ability to have the micro SD, pull it out physically, put it into your computer would be a huge advantage. The third thing I think, who cares about speakers? I know a bunch of guys were like, oh, look at the sound quality and there's like some bass missing. I don't even know what's going on with sound it sounds they both sound pretty much the same to me um and then as far as weight they kind of feel the same i know they're off by like i think one zero point one pounds or something like you can't even tell it does feel a little bit more awkward to hold the samsung ultra because it is so long but it pretty much weighs the same now the screen quality even though apple has this fancy word called retina display um it just i actually prefer looking at the samsung ultra it the screen watching videos uh everything just looks crisper and cleaner it's just a different experience doing the amylid versus the liquid retina even though it has less pixels per inch or whatever i mean you can't even tell it's very small and then for camera it is better i think on the tablet if you're going to call somebody in landscape mode versus if you have the tablet in portrait mode because the camera then is off to the side on the uh, the Samsung versus on the Apple, it's off to the side when you're in landscape. So they're like, again, it doesn't matter. If you do a lot of portrait calls, Apple is your friend. If you do a lot of landscape calls, Samsung is your friend. So if you're doing more of like uh, Zoom calls or something like that, then you probably want the Samsung. And because it can do dex mode, I think that's supposed to be helpful, but I thought dex mode was kind of silly and totally useless. Cameras on the other end too, it's just too awkward to like hold up and take a photo. So I don't know anyone who's snapping photos with either device. So I don't even think it really matters. Uh, the other thing is battery life. I did notice that the Apple lasts much longer. Um, when I say much longer, I can use it for like six hours if I'm co-working somewhere, uh, maybe like five and a half versus the Samsung. I went to go to the car shop, like after like three and a half, four hours, I was done. Like I could see, like it was like at 8%, 9%, it was about to shut down. So it's, I don't know why, like just even sitting there without being charged, after a couple hours in the morning, if I go to use it at noon, it's like 75%. I don't know what it's doing. It reminds me of why I switched from Samsung, from Android to an iPhone, because sometimes I just look at my phone and I don't know what's happening, but it's like, it's all drained. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> like when I'm not using you. So same thing with the tablet. The other thing is the case. So everyone was saying that the Apple feels more sturdy and that's true because it's so like strong in the way that uh, you can't even angle it. Like you get one angle with the Apple and that's it. It's their way or the highway for the viewing angle, but it's sturdy enough that it can just sit on your lap, like a real actual laptop. However, I do like prefer the Samsung keyboard, even though you do have to have it on a flat surface. It can't sit on your lap, it's just gonna fall apart on the floor. But I like the keyboard better. And I know people were saying it felt kind of cheap. I prefer typing on that for some reason. I'm not really sure. It could just be because it's new and I did sell both of my, all of my Apple keyboards, the smart keyboard, the one before that, the magic keyboard, they're all gone because I just never use them. So, but I feel like I would actually use it on this one just because I like, I prefer the bigger, wider screen. So yeah. I don't know. I, I like the keyboard just fine, even though tons of people were complaining about it. The other thing is the pen. So 
The Apple Pencil is not a great writing experience. When I write, it looks like I'm a small four-year-old child who just learned how to write. It doesn't matter. Even when I put this, uh, you know, protective or this hand grip thing on the Apple Pencil and I have the paper-like uh, cover on my iPad, it still just like sucks, right? Like it just isn't the same as writing on paper uh, with a pen. And then for the Samsung though, the native Samsung Notes was amazing. It has like, hepatic feedback you can hear it like make sound effects it was awesome like when I wrote on that it felt like I was really writing on paper and it was beautiful it was gorgeous and I love that experience so that was totally different and then multitasking I don't multitask and I do know that I don't even do that on the iPad but that if you that's important to you the iPad does only allow two screens versus on the Samsung you could do three screens and you can have pop-ups you can have a ton of things open I would think that gets kind of busy but if you're just using it kind of like a command center to like check on a bunch of things I could see that that could be really useful plus you can see Save it in the panel edge as whatever your setting is for that multitasking screen. Um, as far as using it as an extra screen, I already have two huge uh, Apple XDR displays, so I don't need that. But even if I did, you do have to use Windows, which who uses Windows? Like that's punishing yourself to use Windows. And that's, I believe, the only way that it can be extended. Uh, the other thing is it has Samsung Dex, but like I said, it's totally useless. I didn't see the point of Dex. I was totally fine just using using the app as is. That's my wrap. Um, so overall, which one do I think is best? 100%. Um, iPad is better just for the software. There are more applications and one number one is Procreate. I love Procreate. I use it all the time. I want to do a word lettering. You cannot do that on the Samsung with all their apps. They had Squid. It wasn't as great. Um, so, you know, just for that, I would keep it. I'm just going to stick with the iPad. As far as the viewing experience, like just watching movies, I love the Samsung better. I don't know that it's worth $1,000 just to have a tablet to watch Netflix on. On, um, but I did like taking notes on it better. However, it's still cheaper to buy a uh, notebook and a pen. So I am probably going to return it and stick with the iPad. But let me know what you think uh, and if you have something different. But I will be showing you in another video how to use it for digital planning, what the experience is on both and do a comparison because I know that is important and not, nobody really shows how to use digital planning on the iPad. They mostly just show it on um, or on the tablet, Android, they just show it on the tablet, so.